1996, when the much-decorated South Australian legend Malcolm Blight decided to forego the luxury of the seven television commentary box and return to football. Three times the McGarry and Brownlow medalist had coached Geelong to losing grand finals. The decision to forego a career in television was made in favour of a job with an Adelaide side that had finished 12th in 96 under Robert Shaw. It is the most amazing feeling in sport, in our game, that you can possibly have. And I actually said that to the guys at three-quarter time. It was the only time I talked about winning for the whole of the final series until it got to three-quarter time of the grand final that I actually talked to them about the emotions that I'd been through as a player and what that meant at the end of it, you know, and the cliche of 30 minutes to go, but I'm sure you'll have the greatest adrenaline rush you've ever had in your life. It was simply huge, the biggest reception since the Beatles nearly 35 years ago. And the way the autograph hunters were running around before the start of the procession, you'd reckon the Crows would beat the Beatles in a popularity poll. In brighter than expected weather, the cavalcade of cars crawled along King William Road. An estimated 100,000 supporters crammed the route. Some had staked out their posse since early morning. Oh, it's a bit overwhelming, like uh, they seem to go on for miles, but uh, look, it's a, a great event and it's good for South Australian people who come out in their droves to support the club. It's fantastic. Five goal maestro Darren Jarman has tasted the sweetness of a premiership before, but it was nothing like this. It was a bit quieter when I won a flag at Hawthorne, but this is just magnificent. Together in one car, the wounded warriors, Mishuto, Vardy and Modra, who contributed so much to the Crows' achievement, yet were robbed through injury of a place in the grand final dream team. Oh, this is fantastic. Rock up by supporters. I think the boys in the cars will be pretty proud of them. The normally painfully shy Andrew McLeod, punching the air like a world-class boxer, proudly wearing his Norm Smith medal alongside that for the Premiership. The parade's taken a lot longer to travel the distance to the town hall than it was anticipated because there are just so many people around. The players are being absolutely swamped by their supporters. No, it's just unbelievable to see the amount of people that have come out and uh, no, it's just a great feeling. Bringing up the rear, coach Malcolm Blight raising the championship cup high at the symbolic heart of Adelaide, the Beehive Corner. Then total gridlock. His car couldn't even reach the town hall. It took a flying wedge of burly police to escort him to the dais through the sea of people. Ironically, the only jeers of the day greeted the politicians, basking in reflected glory. Lord Mayor Lomax Smith handed the Crows the key to the city. The club promised to use it well. Malcolm Blight once more pulls him in his praise for his players. The month of September would, should go down in history. I think it's one of the great performances of all time, as I've said. And just what does it mean to get the key to the city? Well, for one, you can clown around on the town hall balcony.